Hi folks, Glyn Dewis here and I've got a really quick tutorial for you that I want to show you using Photoshop CS6. Now it's a beauty retouching technique uh, and it's one that I've shown before. It's where we extend the neck length of our model. I'm going to show you first of all how I used to do it using CS5 and then I'm going to show you how I'm now doing it using CS6 and you'll see how much quicker we're now able to get things done using the new version of Photoshop. So here we go first of all with how I used to do it. We've got our model picture in front of us. I'm going to get my marquee tool by pressing M on my keyboard and dragging down from the top left all the way down just underneath our model's chin. And I'm going to press Command or Control J to put that onto its own layer. And I'm going to call that Head. I'm then going to click back on the background layer. Again, using my marquee tool, make a selection from the upper, upper left all the way down but this time stopping just above the shoulder line like so and putting that onto its own layer by pressing command or control J and I'll call that shoulders like so. I then need to move the head up so I'm going to click on the upper layer and then using the up arrow on my keyboard I'm going to press maybe five or six times just to move the head up so we'll go one two three four five and one more for good luck there we go six all I need to do now is join these two parts together so we don't see how we've moved this neck up. So to do that, click on the middle layer, get our transform handles by pressing Command or Control T, like so, and then clicking on the upper middle adjustment handle and just dragging that up until those two layers join together seamlessly like so, and pressing Enter. And if I zoom in, you'll see that there's no join there. And by putting these two into a group, and turning it on and off, you can see that we have indeed increased the neck length of our model. Now that's how I used to do it. Absolutely no problem with that at all. It works really well, but I think you'll agree there's quite a few steps involved. So let me now show you how I'm doing it using CS6, and you'll see how much quicker we're able to get things done. So let's just get rid of that group, put that into the trash like so. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do then, we're now using CS6. I'm going to make a duplicate of my background layer by pressing Command or Control J. And then I'm going to get something called the Content Aware Move Tool. Now we can get that by pressing J on our keyboard or coming over to the toolbar and just selecting it. It's about the sixth, one, fifth or sixth one down. It's in where you'll find the Spot Healing Brush Tool, the Healing Brush Tool and the Patch Tool. We've now got one in there called the Content Aware Move Tool. Now when we select the Content Aware Move Tool, at the top we have a number of options available to us. One of them is called Mode. Now we've got either Move or Extend. Now some of you might have seen tutorials that have been put out there, Sneak Peaks have been called, uh, out on YouTube by people at Adobe. People like Brian O'Neill Hughes have been putting some great ones out using this particular tool. And he's used it using the mode of move, where he's positioned somebody from one part of a picture to another. And it's worked brilliantly. So I want to show you now how we can use the same tool, but using the extend mode. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very, very quick and rough selection around the top part of my picture. And I'm going to come in just underneath our model's chin and then back out again. So now when I zoom in, you can see we've got the marching ant selection here, stopping just underneath our model's chin. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside this selection and just push up just a little bit to extend the neck of our model, and then I'm going to let go. And then within seconds, bam, Photoshop does its thing, and we can see that there's no joins, okay? And when we now turn that layer on and off, we have indeed extended the neck length of our model. So rather than like before when I'd have to select the top part, then select the shoulder part and move them up, none of that at all. With Photoshop CS6, all I need to do is make a rough selection around the top part of our model's um, head, sorry, come under, underneath the chin, and let Photoshop do its magic. And then literally, bam, our neck length has been extended seamlessly. Works an absolute treat. Now, this is just one of the things we're going to be able to do with the new version of CS6. So our editing time is going to be decreased massively. So what I want to encourage you to do, CS6 is going to be out fairly soon, but in the meantime, you can still get hold of the beta. So get yourselves over to the Adobe Labs and download the Photoshop CS6 beta. It's available in Windows or Mac. Have a play, and I think you'll be quite amazed by all the enhancements that have come in. There's a lot of great stuff in there. So have a play, enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.